Hi, I'm a very unqualified, incompetent talk show host, and welcome to Hell. So today, we're going to talk about Static Shock. So for those of you who don't know, Static Shock is a DC superhero who got his powers in a thing called the Big Bang, which was like an explosion with all this gas and stuff, and a bunch of people in a city got superpowers. Seems legit. So this show was on Cartoon Network for a while, and I think one of the best parts about this show is it's not just your regular DC superhero type of thing. It's an actual development around the character of Virgil Hawkins, who's a black teenager, you know, growing up, experiencing a bunch of things about life that people experience. And he has to do that while also being a superhero. And like we see the fact that he's not that wise and how inexperienced he is. Because of the facts that, like, yo, I mean, his his superhero outfit, not really effective. Let's be real. How many people throughout the course of the show figured out, don't I know that guy? His secret identity was not so secret. Let's be real. Everybody knew he was stack shocked by the end of that show. Practically everyone. Maybe not everyone, everyone, but, like, it was pretty easy to figure out. For one, like, you know, you got some cool dreads, but, like, you can't have a cool hairstyle like that. Rock it out when you're just being you, and then put on a suit, and be like, you know what, I, I can, I gotta keep rocking these dreads, I gotta keep doing it, I got this is a 24-7 thing, with great hair comes great responsibility, but like, dude, dude, like, everyone know, imagine if Carrot Top tried to be a superhero, and he just put on a mask, everyone would be like, oh look, it's Carrot Top, no one would be like, I have no idea who that guy is, they'd be like, that's, that's Carrot Top, he, he just saved a woman from being mugged. You gotta consider these things, you know? But in all seriousness, like, Virgil Hawkins was like, he, he was a very likable man. You know, he felt like he was your best friend. If you watch every day, it's like, yeah, that's Virgil, that's my boy. You could just meet him at a party, and you'd be the weird one in the corner, like, not talking to anyone. He would come up to you and be like, yo, what's up, man? Like, he's one of those extroverted people where it's like, he, like, brings people into the circle. Like, he doesn't like seeing people left out, and that's like... That's an admirable quality. The show wasn't just about Virgil, in fact, there were plenty of other characters, like his uh, token white friend, who uh, was also involved in the Big Bang, kind of, but like, he didn't get his powers till later, it was just like, one day he was like, Oh shit, I smart, and my dad's a racist. Ain't this a convenient plot device? But there were also like, so many guest appearances, like, you know, they didn't just have other superheroes, they didn't just have Batman and Superman, they also had Shaq, they had Lil Romeo, they had that guy from the Backstreet Boys, they had Shaq on this show. You know how hard it is to get Shaq? I mean, it was probably easier back then, but it's Shaq. Kids these days don't know who Lil Romeo is. Like, the only the only reason people ever bring up the show anymore is because of the episode where they had a kid who was being bullied, and they brought guns to school to shoot his bully, but then instead of shooting the bully, he shot Virgil's token white friend. That that's the show's legacy at this point. That that's the legacy it has. Like people don't really talk about the show as much in the light of like, yo, this was a great show that I remember and it was like a huge part of my childhood. They're just like, yo, remember the kid who brought a gun to school and shot someone? And then at the end of the episode, Zach was like, Don't bring guns to school. Gun violence is a serious issue. And that's all people remember. That's all people this show deserves more than that. Stag Shock deserves more than that. You know, this show is out here trying to teach kids right from wrong, trying to be a moral compass, trying to make unique, multi-dimensional situations for these kids to deal with and grow as people. But all we remember is, yo, remember that kid with the gun? It's like that Kendrick Lamar song. I ain't gonna sing it or recite it, so I don't wanna get a copyright strike. I don't wanna risk it. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.